Greetings everyone and welcome back to Starship Theory. Wait, for some reason, between me saving the last game and coming back to it uh, a few hours later, D1 is, is, is gone. I, I'm not sure if maybe D1 felt it was inappropriate to be D1, it wanted to be A1 instead, I have no idea, but it's frankly not a choice that you get to make D1. You will be D1, I demand it. There we go. Now then, in this episode, we're going to be continuing to uh, flesh out the runabout and hopefully uh, getting things a little bit better. Are we heading towards an asteroid field? We better be. There we go. Let's uh, get over there. Uh, in this episode, I am hoping to expand things out a wee bit. Maybe get some more mining lasers. Maybe get ourselves a new reactor or two or three. Uh, we'll have to see about that one. Now, one thing that I am really curious about is what would happen. Okay. Bear with me. What would happen if... For example, I was to build out a wall in front of the the exhaust from one of these engines. Would it burn the wall down? Would the engine stop working as well? I just don't know, but we're probably going to find out in this episode because I do want to build these out, or at least down here I do. We want to go along with the uh, the space fish theme that I seem to have fallen into. Uh, I strongly suspect that we're going to be building these out. In fact, let's go ahead and set this up. The way I want to build them out is to about... Here, I would say, on each side. Uh, so, same thing. Womp, down there. Um, actually, let's make sure that's right. Uh, we could draw it out. No, 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 let's not take it out quite that far. No. Uh, I think we'll go with the original idea, and that will be to uh, extend this out. That'll give me room for a large engine. In fact, I'm going to have to uh, push this down a little bit in order to achieve that. Uh, we'll have, uh, sorry, not large engine, two small engines. <laughs> Literally the opposite word from, from small. My, my goodness. Hello. Are you going to be scallywags? They're currently not hostile. That's always nice to see. Uh, right. I can sell you a hundred metal. <laughs> uh, no. I will, however, sell you some silicon. And then, I mean, I could threaten you. We've got a ship that could easily deal with this just knock the power out on each one and then knock the heating out on each one and we could just keep going but there's no reason to except that it would be nice to have money but no we're not going to do it today simply because we don't need the money right now we are flush with credits everything is going our way more or less i mean not everything strictly speaking but it, it most things seem to be going reasonably well for us now we could go for medium solar panels right now, or we could go for a reactor. A reactor would give us more power, but would require constant maintenance. Um, and that's true of quite a lot of the items that we can buy. We can get things that require maintenance, which means an engineer has to regularly visit it. Our engines require maintenance. You may have noticed they just constantly lose health. Uh, reactor would be, likewise, a little bit of a pain in the bum. Uh, I think we're actually going to go for the medium solar panels. Yeah, I think that's that's what we're going to go for there. It's going to cost us a bit to get these set up, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. So we're going to get some medium solar panels popped down there, and that means we can uh, peel away some of the solar panels up top if we would like, and instead, for example, install a uh, some more mining lasers at the top. But I think we're probably going to install mining lasers more out here, honestly. Um, these are going to be engine sections, and then we're going to install some mining lasers out there. We need more mining power. I mean, as I've pointed out, you're actually a lot better off just using a, a basic gun to rip apart asteroids, or at least the big ones, but it's still worthwhile having plenty of mining lasers, if for no other reason than you can very quickly mine the actual asteroids that contain something that you want to take. Uh, we're not running our main weapons right now, though. We're just going to very slowly cut through that. We actually got quite a lot. I said slowly. That is a lie. That was not slow, even in the slightest way. But we are going to make a slow progress through this asteroid field so that I can actually do things. Now, you can use the uh, control keys to control these. I, I didn't with the mining laser there. I really should have, just to emphasize the point. Ah, uh, Scalawag. But one or two, as I've set up, X will stop using something. We'll uh, 
turn off targeting on a weapon system, which is exactly what you want to do at times like that. Now, how much water have we got? We've got a fair bit of water, but we've got an enormous amount of storage. Let's pause that for a second because I definitely want to uh, be cutting that asteroid apart because it's going to be seriously bad for me if I don't. You're going to be out of my range, aren't you? <laughs> Skylywag. My goodness. Oh, well, I suppose. Uh, see, another one that is too far away. Very annoying. And I broke the uh, broke the metal there. Eventually getting a mining laser upgrade would be great. Ah, oh, Scallywags, why are they always so far away? It's very annoying. Very inconsiderate, frankly. I need this stuff. Why does it keep running away from me? There we go. Let's break that down. Nothing much there. Our mining laser will eventually just cut through this without too much trouble. There is a, a keyboard shortcut for toggling time. It's just inconvenient where it's currently placed, and I have not yet bound it to something else. I really should. Instead of just being like, ah, oh, I don't like what it is. It's super silly of me, really. Go ahead. You can break that down for me. Thank you. You can start breaking this one down. Let's see what we can get. Let's turn those off. There we go. We've actually got a fair old bit of um, iron coming through. Oh, we've got a giant iron asteroid over there as well. Glorious times of these. This is actually going quite well. Honestly, I don't think you need more than one mining laser. There's a lot more micromanagement involved if you don't have more than one mining laser. But more than one is just convenience. It's purely convenience. In other words, it's being lazy. No, I think I just broke up. A metal, no, I couldn't have. It couldn't have been a metal asteroid. It wouldn't have fragmented that way. But, uh, oh, for a moment there, I thought I'd done a very big silly. Very big silly. And uh, let's get these uh, shots going up here instead. Please break this for me. Thank you. Uh, oh, yes, it is. It, it actually does. If you shoot uh, a, an ore-bearing asteroid, that is super bad. Wow, I'm fairly certain we actually lost a metal asteroid earlier on then. Well, that's ruined my day. No! So many times! I was just saying how it's convenience. It is convenience. Again, it's just I'm micromanaging poorly at this instance. Um, what I need to do is, after the next shot is fired, immediately turn the lasers off. Like that. That is the right way to micromanage it. Oh, we've lost so much potential metal. There are so many people who are going to be snarky with me in the comments now because of that. And I can't even blame them, frankly. You're right. I, sh <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. All right, let me uh, go ahead and break these down. Unfortunately, we're going to have to move these tags elsewhere. It does make me sad, but it's something that's going to have to happen. Uh, at the moment, though, given uh, we've got quite a lot more power than we're using, what we could do... One thing that we could do. Okay, we're gonna move. We're gonna do a big move around of things, um, and that is gonna involve a few things going places that I don't particularly want them to go. Uh, I would like this removed as well. Let's get rid of that. If uh, my engineers could get on that right away, that'd be grand. It's gonna cost me a little bit of time. Let's uh, get rid of you. Nope. Uh, cancel. There we go. I'll break that down. What I want to do is remove... Oh, that's not good. Uh, you just shoot over there by yourself. There we go. And then we'll break this down. And see what we can get from these asteroids just with our mining laser. Okay, there's... Ah, oh, scallywags. Is there anything ahead of us? Uh, there is, kind of, but uh, that's fine for now. What I would like is to move around our... Oh, there we go. Uh, heat sinks up top. Then, I'm going to get rid of the heat vents over here and the solar panels. I'm going to replace both of these with two medium solar panels. And then these ones are going to be replaced with new mining lasers. And that should, if we're super lucky, make everything amazing. Uh, well, it's, it's not strictly luck, frankly. And fire. I just like one more. Thank you. Uh, oh, yes. This is one of the very large ones. The really large ones take four hits. The slightly smaller ones take three. There we go. And just cut that through. Another bit of metal. Fantastic. We're actually not doing too bad with that at the moment. So another heat vent. And now we can safely remove both of these heat vents and the power to them. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll take this on from afar. Shouldn't be a problem. 
And there we go. Cut that down. Oh, never mind then. Nothing for us, it seems. We'll try and break this one. Though we're breaking this one really close to the ship. Not necessarily the smartest move. Also, I shouldn't have been focusing on that. I should have been focusing on you instead. Well, too late now. I think I'll take my chances with just one rock floating over the ship rather than three. Uh, unfortunately, they split up facing the ship, which is not ideal. Okay, let's break this one down. There we go. And another two. Thank you. Okay, you're the only one that's going to be a problem for us. So let's uh, break that as soon as we can. Anything else ahead of us? No, nothing else ahead. Fantastic. This means that we can pump down our medium solar panels over here and over here, and all is well. Right, now is time for us to uh, open up these areas. Unfortunately, we need to remove the uh, hull markings as well. Don't worry, we're going to be putting them back. Don't fret. We won't be leaving them behind. Uh, in fact, we'll uh, pop the hull markings back over. Well, we could have the doors there, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's get those in place. There we go. Everything seems to be going okay. Generally, the ship is actually pretty clean on the inside as well. I'm fairly happy with that. Once these are opened up, we're going to be replacing... Uh, uh, we're going to be removing our engines completely. It is going to mean that we're going to have a horrible avoidance for a little while. But uh, it shouldn't be too bad in the long run. Uh, we also need to remove these so that we can replace them with mining lasers. We're going to need more power later on, and we can put some power on the outsides, for example. That should be fine. Unfortunately, we've only got two engineers, so everything takes a little, little while for us to get through. Right. Where are these scallywags going to be? Hello. Uh, you like some silicon? Sure, you can have some silicon. Um, I'd like to buy another crew member. Yes, please. Uh, and you, now that I've got everything I want from you, be gone. Ah, oh, fantastic. I feel a bit of a scallywag, though. Though, that does remind me of one very important thing. Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. I, I, I almost forgot, but no. Lolash. There we are. Welcome to the ship, Lolash. But now we've also got Geraldine. So we're going to need another name. My lord, this is fantastic. If we can keep this uh, this up and have a new name every uh, episode, yeah, I'll be all right with that. Let's uh, get these opened up. Please, someone put out the fire. Thank you so very, very much. So much. There we go. Let's get all the fires out on the inside as well. I'd like some more heat sinks, actually. So let's pop down another two at least. There we go. Another two heat vents down there. Get these areas opened up. Ah, oh, it's going to be grand. It's going to be so grand. Right, now is time, though, to... Hmm. Let's pop down the mining laser, shall we? I think we probably should. They're, they're not too expensive, so we can easily afford to fit them. There we go. We'll have three mining lasers on, on the front. Now, this one needs to be Bentham 1. There we go. And this one over here, Doride 1. Perfect. Marvellous, in fact. Okay, so we've got plenty of heat vents. We've got plenty of power. Well, we could do with a little bit more power, actually. Uh, with that, then, we've only got 10 metal at the moment. We're going to need a lot more for what we want to do. And at this point, I think we may... Oh, we've finally got it. So, first and foremost, let's buy the uh, small engine, which is what I've been aiming for. This can fit in here on either side. It's going to be grand, I tell you. Grand. And further to that, we are going to add... Hmm, I'm thinking a medium planter bed would be a nice one to go for next. Medium planter bed, possibly... Yeah, let's uh, switch to utility for now. If we can get to up to a medium plant bed, we can just put that there. And then that is almost certainly going to cover all of our requirements for um, food for quite some time. Now, with an increase in our mining lasers, I'll be able to very quickly show you how drastically that improves everything. But uh, you know what, Geraldine, Lolash, um, who's the best out of you two for using... Operations consoles. Uh, uh, actually, you're both kind of equally bad. That is unfortunate. Geraldine, however, is a pretty stellar engineer. Hmm. But now I'm going to have you on operations, Geraldine. But later on, I'm going to give you uh, an engineering job. And it's going to be 
fantastic, I tell you. Okay, so we've got all of our lasers in their various groups. Have we got anything turned off? I don't think we do. No, we do not. Glorious times are ahead of us, everyone. Well, I'm going to go mine, though, because, you know, you've seen enough mining at this point. If anything interesting should happen, I'll bring you back. But other than that, I'll hopefully bring you back to a bunch of iron. Well, our previous asteroid field didn't seem to do too much for us, unfortunately, and we've got a ship on an intercept course. Hello. Uh, they're currently not hostile. Uh, that's fine. I'll buy some metal off you. Have I got enough? Oh, I've got enough for another crew member. I'll also buy your food. And yes, we're going to have two new crew this time. I'm not going to threaten you, though. You seem to know what you're doing. Uh, I believe, well, you've got rocket pods. I mean, I could, but there's no point. You've given me everything I needed, and that is glorious. Now, we've got Cynthia. Cynthia is good at handling um, stations. So, Cynthia, you're now ops. Geraldine, you are now engineering. Enjoy! We are going to need that. Uh, oh, there we go! We've got that! Fantastic! Now, for this, we just need something along those lines, which is grand. I'm afraid we're going to have to lose the one that we've already got, though, so uh, let's get that out of there right now. Uh, hopefully, it'll uh, be Geraldine who can take care of that and show us their engineering skills. Uh, we've also got another asteroid belt, so we're going to be building whilst we're mining. You know, all the, f the fun stuff. I'm doing it all super fast. There we go. I know there are different ways, and everyone has got a different way of playing this game. Some people prefer to prioritize other things, but I, I just feel that uh, prioritizing the uh, consoles in the way that I have has generally br given us a pretty good starting point. At the now, it's a little bit rougher in the beginning, but at this stage, we're actually doing pretty well, I feel. Uh, next up, though, it is really time for us to consider breaking these down. But before we do, is there anything else we want to grab in there? I don't think so. I don't think there really is. I think the next thing I would genuinely like is a little... Uh, I'd like a, a bit of hull bracing so that we could dramatically increase our structure points. Armor would also be nice. Um, armor plates, they require a little bit more, but you pop those on the outside and it gives you armor and it just it just mitigates some of the damage that you'll possibly be taking. There's also, we could go for things like chain guns, plasma turrets, EMP turrets, rocket ports, torpedo launchers, all kinds of crazy things. And like these are more buffs, so they increase the um, penetration um, of, your, of your weapon systems. I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm going to go for defenses because they're a little bit closer and they'll also build out in the way that uh, I think I would prefer. And before we get to that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to break down both engines. I know that seems crazy considering we're entering an asteroid field, but trust me, it's going to be grand. We need all of the uh, stuff that they're going to give me anyway. I don't really care for the gold right now. I've got so much gold. Um, it's, it's an odd place to be where you can say, yeah, I don't care about gold. I don't need any more gold. We're, we're gold rich, but uh, that is the position that we find ourselves in. Uh, like, let's pause this while I build a little bit more. We want to build out the hulls so that we can uh, drop down the floor there. I can also take this away if I want to. And I might actually, because those would be good spots for things like CPU or um, reactors. Alternatively, I could put something in there, like uh, a panel of some sort, maybe even an additional heat vent. It's never a bad idea to have those. Uh, that being said, yeah, we're close to our maximum power, so could drop in another medium solar panel on the outsides. Wouldn't be the worst thing that I could do. Let's go ahead with that so that we've got all of the power all of the time. The next thing then really will be getting an additional uh, some sort of enhanced CPU offering so that'll probably be the CPU array and it'll take us a little while to get there let's get that out of the way before it becomes a problem well we haven't got any engines uh, set these down right you've got everything I need so let's go ahead and yeah we're gonna build out all of that should be grand right I need to get rid of you because you're literally in my path there we are. Oh, no. Those rocks were kind of in the way. More gold. Ooh, more iron. Fantastic. Ah, this is going well. And hopefully we're going to be getting plenty of food for our larger crew. Soon, we really do need to consider getting them proper um, crew quarters. So beds and the like. Because right now, they're living in squalor. Let's be honest. They've got this lovely ship. Or rather, they've got this functional ship. 
and they're living in squalor. It's just not right, I tell you. Just not right. We're not barbarians. Please break before you break something in my ship. Also you. Get rid of yourselves. Thank you, my lord. That was a little bit closer than I would have liked. Right, so small engines at this point. It's going to take a lot. We can afford it, but it is expensive. Let's pop two of those down. 80 metal can be used up straight away. Just under half of our silicon is going to be used up, and quite a lot more than half of our metal used up just like that. It is a little bit scary when you can see all of your, your hard earned just vanishing, but oh well. Uh, we have got one point of defense. Okay. Uh, the next up, I mean, one thing I could do is push all of this out if I really wanted to. There's definitely a part of me that does. But I think instead, we're going to... Build out our hull back here a little bit more. That's where I think we are going to be investing more. And we'll get some sort of gigantic engine back here eventually. But th right now, this will be more for beds, I'm thinking. This will be crew quarters all the way back there. Now, how much metal? That's going to take more metal than we've got. So I'm going to have to pull that back then. Uh, let's build it up in sections, actually. It makes more sense to just slowly add more space over time than suddenly take it all. Uh, and then just have unusable spires of, of hull just dotting the edge of my ship. That doesn't make any sense at all. It's not a very good use of my time. Uh, right, I would like another asteroid field, please. Always more asteroid fields. Soon we'll get another couple of mining lasers as well, especially once we've got the CPU array, but that's going to be a little while from now. Uh, yeah, we, our food is still going up. We are actually in a fairly good position. I'm pretty pretty happy with this all things said and done. Uh, a door down there would be good, I think. Probably a door down there, yeah. There we go, so we've got a new big whopping great engine, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, right, we're gonna have some uh, fires soon. Lots of fires. Please be with the putting out of the fires. There we go, there we are, especially on the heat fence. We don't want our heat fence to be on fire. That seems extremely counterproductive. Uh, someone needs to put out the fire on the food dispenser, please. Ooh, hello. They're not currently hostile. That's what I like to hear. I don't have any money anymore. Uh, you can have some of my water, though. Don't need that. How many guns you got? You got lots of guns. Yeah. Uh, we're not gonna be messing with you. Surprisingly. Let's not pick fights that we can't, can't win. We should win the fight first and then pick it. That is the best way to fight. Don't, don't, don't play dice. Just make sure you've already won the battle, then start the battle. That is the only way to fight, really. If someone else gets the drop on you, well, then you just weren't quick enough in making sure you won the battle, frankly. They have also, you know, read Sun Tzu. Uh, there we go. Let's get rid of all of these things. Fantastic. Okay, well, given that we're probably going to end up with quite a lot of metal here, I'm not going to force you to watch it, but uh, I will bring you back when we're ready to continue building. Okay, that was a pretty profitable asteroid field. We've got quite a lot of building potential now, so we're going to start expanding out down here. And uh, we could probably drop down another heatsink or two. Uh, definitely some heat sinks down there, but do we really need it? Eh, not strictly at the moment, but might be worth our time. We could definitely drop down some extra laser turrets, for example, but we just don't have the CPU arrays right now. We're currently researching engineering. Uh, the first thing we're going to unlock in here, though, is the hull brace. And the hull brace is a bit of an interesting construction. The hull brace will add to our structure by 20 that your people can walk on diagonal hull braces which is very important because uh, that means this area right here is still usable to me uh, in fact i can put it in here as well and all sorts of places like that and it's gonna give me quite a lot of benefit to the structure and survivability of the ship i also want to pop down a door let's go ahead and pop down a door right about there i think would be a good place to pop it as you can see, our structure is starting to increase, so we're directly increasing the HP of the ship for all intents and purposes. Uh, can you finish that one for me? Thank you. Marvellous, in fact. Uh, we could do with... Well, power-wise, we're actually going okay. Uh, CPU-wise is, is the real thing that's limiting us, and in fact, because of that, I'm a little bit concerned that uh, we're 
just asking for someone to break one of the CPU panels and then shut down loads of our systems at once. That would be truly bad. So let's go ahead. For the time being, we're going to pop down two new CPU panels down here. And also because the symmetry is slowly rotting my brain, we're going to put in a, an airlock there. Uh, as for heat, we can make sure that we're not going to lose out to someone just breaking our heat vents by popping something there. At this stage, we could put down some weapon systems if we really wanted to. Um, but we wouldn't be able to run... Well, actually, no, with the with the extra CPU, we would be able to run them. So, sure, we'll pop down some additional laser turrets there. Not the best weapons, certainly. And we're going to need a little bit more metal but before we can finish it all off. But uh, we'll certainly get there. We've spent metal in a bit of a frivolous way by dropping down that second airlock, but I don't care. It's fine. I like it this way. Uh, right, we are going to have to continue expanding out down here, and that's going to be a fairly high priority for us. But with this much heat sinks, or rather heat vents, someone asked, well, how are they venting here? You're blasting out oxygen? No, I imagine it is more of a heat sink, kind of like a radiator. You're pumping some sort of liquid with a, with a very good thermal conductivity around the hot parts of the ship. It's absorbing the, the heat energy as it's going through, and then it just gets piped out into these long, thin pipes outside where the, the frigid, almost zero um, Kelvin of space, well, actually, even in space, nothing zero Kelvin, but, you know, the very cold parts of space, very very quickly just kind of leach that heat out of the pipes and then the liquids return to the ship nice and cold again just kind of like the liquid cooling in a computer um or anything else it uses a radiator to cool itself frankly computers don't have the 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 uh, monopoly on that but uh, i doubt it's very very much is venting any kind of gas that would be too precious in space for you to just throw out into the void because you you know you're a little bit hot uh let's see our heat dissipation now though is very very high I'm really, really uh, looking forward to the next fight, frankly, because we'll be able to shoot for days. And we've got a ship on an intercept course while we're mining. Hopefully it's just a trader. We've had pretty good luck with the lack of combat ships, honestly. Are they powering up their weapons? No, they are not. They've also got more than me. Damn it, why? Why? This th Everyone seems to catch up too fast. Uh, I could sell an awful lot of gold here. And I'm actually very tempted to. Yes, okay. Awful lot of gold? Sold. Uh, now we can afford to buy like two or three new crew members. Oh, it's going to be grand. We've already got Cynthia and Geraldine. I like those names, <laughs> especially Cynthia. Um, but uh, this is gonna, this is gonna be quite, quite an interesting. We're, we're gonna be able to afford so much. It's gonna be grand, I tell you, grand. Uh, repair a small engine. Yeah, someone needs to pop out and, and repair that. I'm surprised you can't repair that from the inside, though. Frankly, uh, I would like another uh, asteroid field, uh, please. We've got all of our weapon systems online we haven't got very much metal though so we're still going to be continuing to uh mine though i do like that design the airlocks are internal hmm yeah i was wondering if that was possible clearly it is uh very well i will remember this for the future because it's going to be quite an important thing i imagine okay we have finished work on the cpu array we have that is uh we've got enough to build one which is going to be fantastic now the thing with the cpu panel provides 40 units cpu array provides 200 doesn't seem to require maintenance which is particularly nice now the the reason why i was umming and ahhing about the reactor is the reactor whilst it does provide triple the amount of a small solar panel it does require maintenance and it takes up a pressure spot and it's not that big of an increase but a cpu array is is actually a big increase it's five times as much so yeah i think it's reasonable to get one or possibly even two just for you know symmetry sake you know which is probably one of the most important things in the universe uh after that we can also get rid of these and replace them with more medium solar panels so we'll actually have quite a lot of uh power and cpu uh, at that stage these are of course you know not as durable as the reactors and especially the big reactors they provide redonkulous amounts of power and so you know you've got to you've got to at some point accept that the reactor is the better choice but right now 
Not necessarily the best choice. Look how much CPU we've got. At this stage, I'm actually going to go ahead and remove these, and I'm going to play put my heat sinks down there. That will allow me to place two more mining lasers. Now, I'd like some mining lasers on the very far sides, because, ooh, ooh, they're not currently hostile. Whoa. Okay. Uh, yes, I will absolutely buy all of your metal. Um, I will absolutely sell you some of my water, too. Uh, I won't sell you any of my gold. I will... Guaranteed by another crew member. Oh my goodness. We have got so many people. We have now got... Who is it? We've got Kim. Uh, Kim is actually good on science. Well done, Kim. Is Kim better than... Cynthia? No, Cynthia's upgraded. Uh, so that's fine. Cynthia's gotten better at uh, dealing with that. Lolash is currently a better... And, well, actually, no. Kim is uh, a good engineer as well. Uh, Kim, I'm going to have you join engineering. There we go, you can learn on the job. Right, so we've got everything we really wanted from uh, engineering for now. I would say the next thing we really need to start looking at is better actual weapon systems. That being said, we could grab any of these, like weapon consoles, sensor consoles, heat console. I mean, the heat console would be quite useful. Well, we've got more than enough scientists that we could uh, actually get them working on that. But I, I think... Yeah, we need we need some weapons research. Currently, we are still quite dinky in terms of weapons. So next, I want two heat vents down there and there. We are going to remove these heat vents, and then we're going to remove all of these, and then we'll replace those with medium power. It should all be glorious, I tell you. And pretty much, we're just hopping between asteroid belts at the moment. Wow, you're right in front of me. Why? Go away. Naughty. Don't appreciate you. Uh, so cut you down. Okay, everything is turned off, unfortunately, because all of our heat vents got set on fire at more or less the same time. Um, that. No, both the CPU arrays went offline. Okay, that super bad. Let me uh, get all of those turned back on. This is the problem when you go down to less systems, is there's less redundancy. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, obviously, but uh, it, it bears repeating. You don't want to lose out on all of the redundancy that you've got. Uh, let's get all of those turned back on. There we go. These probably, yep, everything shut down. Okay, uh, we really do need this to be broken up pretty soon. Uh, the water is probably the least dangerous of the things that was there. Uh, let's get that one open. This. Why has no one gone out to fix that? Who's going out to fix it? Uh, thank you. Let's get that turned back on. Uh, no, Aggie, could you also get that for me? Thank you. I'll just break this with uh, a quick two shot with my lasers there. This has also been put out. Wow, my engineers uh, are ruining their keep right now. There's so much stuff they desperately need to get on because of all of the explosions everywhere. Get away from my ship. Thank you. Oh, my lord. So many things ahead of me. Let's break these down as fast as I can. Come on. There we go. Go away. Oh, actually, that was a good cho uh, good choice as well. Right, let's move that back up there. Okay, well, that was uh, a little bit worrying. Uh, I would like, actually, two new mining lasers, please. And indeed, thank you. Let's get those going down. We should be okay with that. Uh, we could still put a reactor up there if we really desperately wanted to. Don't strictly feel the need right now. Um, I think, it, yeah, it is definitely time for us to continue pushing this out. So let's continue to uh, upgrade our hull a little bit. I can push this out to the side. Um, and there is a part of me that really wants to because it would give us so much more room. <clears throat> it would also give us room enough for two new consoles, at the very least, two new consoles. Um, in fact, we could do that by just doing this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Though this starts looking comical at that point. It's like, why have I got this tiny, tiny waist to my, to my space fish? That doesn't make any sense at all. But, uh, we'll, we'll see about that. We might go with it, might decide against. Uh, let's melt that down. Once we've got the new mining lasers online, we should be able to do a lot better with our mining. Uh, right, okay, everything is there. Have we got them all? There we go. Add them all. Add all of the mining lasers all of the time. There we go. Fantastic. I approve. Now, the side ones take a little bit longer to get in range of anything in front of me, but they give me that little tiny bit of extra reach just for those, you know, bits of 
metal that always seemed to spawn just outside of my reach to the side. So that should go away, hopefully. Come on, all of you. Uh, just, just ran out of time. Oh, well, that's not too terribly bad, I suppose. I really should have been focusing on the one in front of me. Why I didn't? I don't know. Stupidity is my guess, actually. Uh, okay, let's uh, get rid of all of that. There we go. Not too bad. I still like going at full speed through the uh, mining segments. I, I don't know why. A bit of a thrill seeker, I guess. Uh, right, now all of that is done. That is actually going to be quite glorious. We can move a couple of things over. In fact, uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna adjust this a little bit. We're going to very slightly adjust the way that we're building this out. I've just built those and I'm going to remove them. And I know that's going to make some people's brains bleed. Um, well, actually, I don't need to, I suppose. What I could do instead is just remove it down there. It would be easier. Yeah. Uh, I want two new medium solar panels. One there and there. And we're going to remove these two. And then just push out this room and make ourselves um, a little console there. That being said, it's gonna, it's gonna, I'm not sure if that's going to look too nice anymore. Hmm. Bit of a concern there. I'll be honest. Maybe I'll just leave it with extra power. I could do that. We'd have to go outside in order to, to repair these panels, but it's not necessarily the worst thing that I've done. Um, tempted. Really tempted to. And I could move the CPU race elsewhere then. That might be something that I do. Uh, at the moment, though, let's go ahead and drop down some floors. And the very first beds are going to be placed down. It's high time that my people actually had a place that they can sleep, I think. Let's get all of that done. It's going to cost us very little to get it all done as well, which is especially nice. Let's uh, get these hull blocks in place. There we go. Yeah, I think we'll uh, probably get... Uh, we'll probably widen out the waste area here. Uh, let's get those done as well. I'm probably going to remove the airlocks and move them around as a result. There we go. Two beds. It's going to be grand. Everyone's going to be so happy to finally be able to sleep in a bed. Uh, have I actually added these to the number one? I had not. No. All right, let's uh, turn all of those on. We can, in fact, power them all, which is very good to see, thanks to these. Uh, at this point, mm, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll add in all of the extra hull. We'll push the airlocks out a bit, and that'll be fine. I think that'll actually uh, leave things looking fairly good. Now, they're not using the bed because I haven't told them who this is for. Uh, this one's going to be for engineering, and so is this one, considering how many engineers we've got. Sorry, but that's the way that one's going to be. I will have some more beds, though, so let's uh, get those going. So, another one down there, another one there. These two will be for science personnel. Ship detected on long-range scanners. Marvellous. How much weapons research have we got? None. Because I haven't turned these back on. I am a derp. Uh, let's turn on the medium plant bed as well. I hadn't turned on so many things. We were we were digging into our food reserves. Probably people in the comments are like, Why don't you notice? This is so important. Oh my god. I know. I can be a bit of a derp sometimes. Most of the time, actually. Uh, they're not currently hostile. We'll buy... Sure, we'll buy loads of metal. Uh, no, we're not selling that. Um, we're not buying that either, nor are we buying that. But we are buying another crew member. There we go. Fantastic. We've got so many crew. We've got Philip. Philip is actually really good at combat. Very well, Philip. But yeah, for now, you're just going to be chilling out and, and doing bits and bobs here and there. It's fine. Um, I am tempted to add... Hmm, there's quite a few things that we can add out here that would really, really benefit us. Like, super benefit us. Uh, we could, for example, add more hull plating. Right now, I'm, I'm basically waiting on research for weapons, really. Because that's going to be the next big thing that we, we upgrade. I don't want to mess with my awesome shape too much, though. Because I, I like having a space fish. This is glorious, in my opinion. Everyone should have a space fish. I mean, it's, it's not quite as amazing as a space walrus, but it's, you know, it's close enough, I think. It's, it's kind of in the same, same area. 
Okay, as you can see, I've got a couple of things being built. We're going to have some more power. I'm, I'm happy with the amount of power that we're generating. Um, just adding these two in. I'm not going to remove anything because I'm, I'm really quite pleased with having all of this, uh, all of this uh, power generation. However, we are going to be getting rid of these blocks. I've got a couple of ideas in ways that we can increase our durability for the ship in a meaningful way. We are unfortunately going to be losing these two areas. Um, um, we're just going to be having uh, doors moving, uh, sorry, uh, passageways moving through there. Uh, once these are removed, we're going to be replacing them with hull sections, which we're going to do right about now. Then floor sections there and there, and putting down some more hull bracing. Uh, there we go. And I'm, I'm removing this just purely because I, I feel like removing it, really. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I just want a little corridor there. It, it's it's fine. It's fine. There is method to my madness. Not much method to my madness, I will confess. But there is method, kind of, somewhere in there. Uh, there we go. We've got plenty of engineers to run everything we, we need, more or less. And as soon as that is ready, then I can finish this off, which will be glorious. And then people can get back inside, and they've got all beds and everything else. So grand things are looking up for this ship, I tell you. Uh, there we go. And then we want uh, some more hull braces. There we Now, these ones can't be walked over. So these are completely... Oh, wow. But... Uh, yeah, the, the lack of redundancy in CPU is actually hurting us. Definitely need to get some redundancy for that as soon as possible. Please put that out. Thank you. Let's turn that back on and then turn on all of the things that just got turned off. My goodness, all of my millions of heat vents because, you know, I don't like my weapons exploding because they're too hot. That's a pretty, pretty awful thing to happen. Uh, and then, well, I would kind of like you to move from there. There we go. Thank you. Let's pop that down. Perfect. Right, okay, I could put in a, you know what, yeah, we are hurting for CPU, we are not hurting for power. Let's pop down another CPU panel so that we've got some redundancy, because all of our CPU comes from three components right now. That's kind of super dangerous, honestly. Uh, really? Wow. Uh, could you go and put out that fire for me? Just both of you, thank you. That is glorious. Ship now on an intercept course. Now, I'm hoping that they can actually get to the beds without having to be able to walk in this area. We'll see. If no one ever sits down there uh, or sleeps there, then I'll have to move things around. Uh, we can buy a load of metal. Uh, I'm totally down with that, actually. Yeah, sure. Uh, I won't be getting another crew. We've got so many now. We don't need any more. Uh, that's fine. What kind of weapons have you got? Uh, you've got a couple, but you've not got very much heat for the amount of weapons you've got, frankly. You've really not got much heat for the amount of weapons you've got. That's kind of crazy. Um, oh, yes, you need to be able to move through. Sorry, guys. My bad. My bad on that one. Let's uh, move that down. I do wish that it would remember where I put that. And then stop trying to put it in somewhere else every single time. Uh, but I suppose I know where it wants to put it, so realistically, it's my fault. I should just put it somewhere better. Uh, but with that done, let's go ahead and build a CPU array. I'm hoping that you can put out this bloody fire. Please put out the fire, guys. Why are you not putting out the fire? I feel that you are really, really should have been able to put out that fire. Wow. Just You just let it explode. Okay, sure. Just just let the engine explode. I, I mean, I feel that that's probably bad. I imagine that's something they teach you not to do in engineering school. You know, just generally don't let the engines explode. Usually bad. Generally leads to, you know, badness for the ship and everyone in it. Especially the people who were stood right there next to the engine, which was all of our engineers at that time. Uh, I I will forgive you though because you've been doing such a good job otherwise. But I think uh, with with that kind of bug, we're we're gonna we're gonna leave it there. Silly engineers, my goodness. Uh, we do want to rebuild the small engine. Though. Let's get that going. Uh, can we get that in there? There we go. Um, finally, we've actually got enough now for weapons though. Could buy the chain gun. Mm, sure, why not? Generates a little bit more heat. Uh, reroll time is a bit longer, but sure, let's buy a chain gun, then build a few. 
Uh, where are we going to put these chain guns, though? That is the question. That is an important question, too. Uh, we could put the chain guns down here. Oh, you know what? Sure. Okay. We're going to just finish this little bit off. I spent so much of my resources just removing things I've already built. Hmm. Bad habit. Uh, we'll get that done, and then we'll uh, move on. I'm not going to grab that iron asteroid just yet, because I'm so fast at mining them now. There we go. Uh, grab all of these. And break you down. Nope. So much iron. So much iron, oh my lord. If we got the mining expander, that would kind of be ridiculous. We'd probably be able to gather everything on the map. Uh, hurry up with that though, please. Thank you. Let's get these built in. Then we'll put two chain guns down there and it's going to be grand. It's going to be amazing. We're going to be melting faces all over the place. Or rather filling them with bullets, I suppose, since it's a chain gun. There we go. We'll grab a little bit of silicon as well. We're actually starting to get uh, near full on our... Well, no. Well, getting nearer to full than not, which is the surprising bit, considering how much storage space we've got. Finally, two chain guns. Let's get those going. It's going to cost us a fair bit to get, or pretty much all of our silicon, which, you know, is not great, but it's fine. I think we're going to be okay. And with that, we will have quite a potent ship. Power-wise, I'm not sure how much chain guns use... Wow, they use a lot. We will be able to run them, but ye gods, that's a lot of power. I was not expecting it to be that expensive. I'll be honest with you. Really wasn't expecting that. I also haven't actually noticed if people are using the beds yet. I really need to pay more attention to that because I kind of feel that they might not be, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, perhaps you can let me know whether you've noticed anyone using the bed in the comments down below. But that is going to be it from me. Now, remember that we've got Philip, Kim, and Cynthia, and Geraldine all ready to be recruited. So uh, do let me know in the comments if you'd like to claim one of the names and which name you would like to replace this. But that's going to be it from me as our people rush around trying to put out fires. I said put out fires. Rushing around putting out fires is what I said. Oh, my lord. Kim, uh, at least someone's got some sense. But yes, that's going to be it from me. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and will be joining me in the next. As ever, remember to leave a like if you liked and sub if you haven't. But until next time, take care, everyone.